Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mitch Trubisky Player Franchise. This is episode 102, 101. Um, oh, I forgot already. But anyways, we're playing the Giants today. They come into the game with a better record than we have. They're up, I think, 6-1, and one, and we're like 5-2. and two. So it's slightly better. It's, um, only matters because it factors into who gets the number one seed in the playoffs and if we have to play a wild card game or not, which I don't like playing wild card games. So we're going to start off in a really good field position um, at the 12-yard line <laughs> on our way to score. And soon. Hopefully this runs right in. First play of the game, 12-yard touchdown. And for our second drive, we're going to start off on the Giants' 49-yard line once again on their side of the field. Um, Hand off here to Sajay Perrin. Good pick up two. Two carries, 14 yards, one touch to start things off. The Giants have two turnovers uh, to start the game. So, our defense playing pretty good. Hopefully, this turns into a blowout. But we're going to see, um, make sure we're running the ball with Sanjay Perrin because I think uh, Dalton Vaughn might be injured at this moment. So, looks like Sharp's going to be wide open on this play. Wide open. Who's hurt? Somebody got hurt. It pisses me off when there's a lot of injuries, especially at my wide receiver position because they only gave me five wide receivers this year. And my backup tight uh, tight ends suck ass. Um, I only have two running backs that are decent. <laughs> Look at that throw on the run right as I'm getting hit. We find Lamb for the first down at the 21-yard line. Pick up a 15 there. Hand off here to Sajay Parent. Should push through the line. He's got the blockers. He's not a terrible running back. He's, a, he's actually um, where I'm at when with playing the games. He is even with Dalton Vaughn in uh, rushing yards because of Dalton Vaughn missing so many games. And that was my mistake. I messed up that play. I held the ball too long. Um, my guys were open over the middle, but I didn't toss it to them. And we ended up taking a sack. And losing yards. So that's my mistake on that second down. Getting to a third and 14. They're sharp. Down at the 18-yard line. So fourth and seven. We are going for it. Um, might be a mistake on my part, but fuck it. We're going for it. Yeah, he's not even open. Why did I throw it to him? I could have scrambled for the first. Fuck. So we're still up 7-0. I should have kicked the field goal <laughs> instead of going for it on fourth. Sometimes my offense like to shoot, shoot ourselves in the foot. Other times we're, it's a pretty good offense. Like right there, we shot ourselves in the foot. Lost three points. I scrambled there for an 18-yard pickup. <laughs> First and ten. Now Trubisky, on first down, flushed out right. All right. Uh, here's a good play by Sajay Perrin. Down at the 12-yard line. Nice pickup there of 39 yards. Um, so, for those of you, I don't know when this video is going to end up coming out. But, uh, right now, on Mother's Day is when I'm recording this. Um... Kyler Murray hasn't been traded from the Cardinals. I don't know. I, I almost forgot where I was going with that. Uh, Kyler Murray has not been traded. He apparently has told them he has two years left on his fucking contract. Guaranteed. It's this year, and then next year is his fifth year option because he's played three years, and they've already picked up his fifth year. So uh, he's guaranteed two more years on the Cardinals, and then they can always franchise tag him. But he's like, I'm not going to play on the fifth year. He's a touch center right there. All right, we're in the second quarter, up 14-7 to seven with 5.37 left in the second quarter. This game is a lot long. Damn it, I threw it to the wrong fucking guy. I should have thrown it to my running back. There was nobody over there. Oh. Again, sometimes we shoot ourselves in the foot. Sometimes I miss the guy, the guy that's fucking open. I don't think I do it that often. Um... 
So it is what it is. Anyways, back to talking about Kylo Murray. Just because... Um, supposedly, he told the team that he's not going to play on the fifth-year option. And that he wants $80 million a year. I don't know how accurate that is. When, you'll, when guys are only getting, like... 40, 40 to 45 right now, why the fuck would they be like, yeah, let's give Kyler Murray a, a quarterback that fucked up and, oh, God damn it, how to, oh, you're a piece of shit, you tipped it right to him, what the hell? Fucking turnover. At least my defense is doing good. Still holding him to seven. But yeah, Kyler Murray's a quarterback who... Has led the team in three years. He's led the team to the playoffs once. And they got wrecked. Uh, they were supposed to make it twice. Like the year before last. And the team completely collapsed. And he went from being an MVP candidate. To like six weeks later. Being considered a trash player. By me. Um, but he was. They somehow fucking missed the playoffs. And then all of a sudden they're like. Oh no he's good. <laughs> so. I don't know why I was talking about that. <laughs> but in other news, in the NFL world right now, um, there was something else I was about to talk about. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> comment below if you, th- if you think the Brad's... Um, we're purposely sabotaging Baker Mayfield because now he's saying that uh, that they were sabotaging him to make him look bad so that they had a reason to get rid of him. Um, but it's not his... It's not the Browns weren't making him play through injury. He's not... The, the injury wasn't going to... Oh, fuck. I threw it right to him. This is not a good game for me. That's interception number two. I think I threw three of them in the game. Tie game, 14-14, minute 56 left. I got all three timeouts. We're just going to dump it off to the third string tight end. I don't know why he's on the field. Where the fuck are my receivers? I already forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Nope. That's all right. Oh, yeah, Baker Mayfield. So he's come out and he's saying that the Browns supposedly um, were setting him up to fail because he led them to the playoffs once and they and they should have given him an extension there. Instead, they made him play last year and he got hurt and decided to keep playing through it. But... But they're still not giving him a contract extension. And they, they, then they went and traded for Deshaun Watson. So, he did a podcast recently saying that uh, he could see himself sign, going to the Seahawks. Like, signing with the Seahawks. So the Seahawks head coach has come out and said, Yeah, no, we're not trading for any uh, veteran quarterbacks. So, no need to include us in your weird signings. We're not trading for you. We're not signing any. I need Baker Mayfield. He didn't say him, say him by name, but that's who they were talking about. Because they can't, because since Baker's under contract, other teams can't talk about him by name. They could just say that other veteran quarterbacks they're not trading for, meaning they're not trading for Baker. Um, the, the Panthers apparently were in the middle of trading, trying to trade for him during the draft. Um. But they wanted the Browns to pay the majority of his $18 million guaranteed salary. And the Browns said no. So the Panthers then traded up in the third round to select a quarterback of their own. And now they're not. In. So basically the two teams left that have, might have had interest in Baker Mayfield definitely do not anymore. I'm just trying to get myself some space to make the throw. There's a touchdown, Bennett. And we're back in the second half, up 21-14. to 14. Feeling pretty good. We got um, our fullback in at running back. 
because we're trying to switch it up from Tazi parents so the defense doesn't know what to expect. Did you did you think they were gonna that they were expecting this power heavy run running attack? No, damn it, they figured it out. Two carries, six yards, not bad. Third and three. Now I've debated cutting out um, me picking the plays to speed it up a little bit, but it wouldn't really speed it up that much. I was waiting for somebody to get open. We we're find our fullback pickup of about six, maybe five. So first and ten, I'm gonna hand it off to my fullback once again. He's gonna run right into defenders, pick up nothing. You're gonna say he's picked up a one second and nine. I have to stop going to the no huddle because I hate this like formation. I don't want two running backs in there. So I need to stop going to this this uh formation in the no huddle. Second and nine, dropping back. Looking for anybody. Dump it off to my fullback once again. Going to run directly into the defender. Not picking up the first down. Third and two. We're up by seven. The, it feel, the scoreboard makes the game look a lot closer than it really feels. I'm, even though I'm taking a sack right now at third down, I'm feeling pretty good about this game because... This is where I fucked up. Because um, you had the one interception that was tipped directly to the defender. There's another interception where I didn't see the defender just standing there over the middle and I because I was just watching my receiver. So I threw it to the wrong guy. So and then there's another uh, where we went for it on fourth down at the goal and didn't pick it up. So we've been in scoring position. Every drive, my defense is doing pretty good, holding them to 14. They forced two turnovers already. So, with it being only a seven-point game in the third quarter, I feel like we're going to start pulling away, but the score makes it, I don't know. The score, the score is misleading. I feel like that should have been pass interference because he was all over him. The flag's probably holding, though. Holding. Offensive line. Fucking piece of shit. So second and two to third. Second and 12. We lost 10 yards because of that holding penalty. We're going to try the same play, see if we can get a different outcome. Nope. Same fucking outcome. The defender tips it away, and my receiver can't hold on. Third and 12. All right, so I wanted to go to Lamb here, but fuck no. And they're going to pick up the sack on third down, so that's going to bring us to fourth and 18. And I'm going to be like, ah, oh, fuck that. I'm going for it. I'm on their side of the field. Why would the fuck would we punt it? Go for it. See? Take a shot. And bingo, bango. We pick up that fourth and 18 for a first down at the 24-yard line with a nice 25-yard throw to my backup tight end. So first and 10 here. Hand it off to Perrin. Let him just run it. Down at the 20 yard line, 12 carries, 49 yards, one touchdown. And he's got some yards receiving as well. Pretty good game for him. He should have kept bouncing that to the outside instead of trying to cut it back in. That's weird. The hole was on the inside. Look, whatever. Third and three at the 17 yard line. We got some tight ends in at wide receiver. There's my receiver, Lamb, wide open for the touchdown. All right, we're in the fourth quarter. Our defense gave up another fucking touchdown, so it still is only a seven-point game. So, 28-21. 
we'll, we'll just drive down, eat up clock, see if we can score another touchdown. Second and seven. Hand off here to my running back. He's going to run directly into somebody. Breaks the tackle, though, and then gets tackled by the hip, from the hips by the Giants defender. Third and three. We're going to call a run play with Sajay Perrin. He has zero fumbles so far on the year. Hopefully, he doesn't pick one up here. And Sajay Perrin. I've say, been saying it wrong all game again. Um... Picks up the first down, but that was all, and that's all we needed. Just keep moving the clock, keep eating it up. Find my first down. There's my tight end for the first down. So right now, I still have only two interceptions. I feel like I'm about to throw another one, just because that's how the game goes. Yep, it's finding some room. And, of course, I throw it to the guy that's wide open, and it gets intercepted. And he takes it about to midfield tie game. Of course, they fucking scored a touchdown. 28-28, 2-23 left. Starting off at our own 25-yard line. We're going to find the tight end down at the 46. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. We're going to do another... Oh, uh, damn it, Wesley Bryanson. Or Bryant Wesley. Well, he's going to get a carry. He's, oh, he has three carries already? That's a two-minute warning, so the clock stops. We're have a, facing a second and 10 at our own 46. So we should have time with uh, three timeouts left to be able to score a touchdown or kick a field goal. Take a lead and avoid halftime. Damn it. Third, third and 13. We lost three yards there. Trying to find somebody open. And unfortunately, this defense works pretty good against... There we go. Find Lamb. I was going to say this uh, zone defense they are playing was working pretty good. Stopping the, uh, me from picking up yards on those slants. We'll see how it does against the run. Down at 35, pick up a five, second and five. Minute 26 left. Giants use the timeout because we're about in field goal range. So they want to make sure that if we score, they have time to score as well, which I don't want that to happen. There we go. My receiver is open for the first down. It's Tajay Sharp. Down at the 23, pick up a 12. The Giants. Not the 49ers are using their timeout. They have one left. First and 10 at the 23. We're going to call the slants once again. Trying to find a guy. There we go. Over the middle. It's sharp. Down at the two. First and goal. Tajay Sharp, eight catches for 95 yards today. Pretty good game. Now here I'm looking for either carry over the middle or if they're going to guard Lamb or not. Yep, Lamb's not going to be open. I'm going to end up taking a sack. So the clock at least is running. Second and goal at the nine. I'm not worried about the clock warning. I want it running. I want it to run so that the Giants don't have any shot when I score. That's why I'm not running it in. Sharp scores a touchdown. We get the ball back with 37 seconds left in the game. Up 35-28. Up by one touchdown. Let's see how we play it out. There's Lamb. Did he, oh, he didn't make it in. He's down at the one. I thought he was going to make it in. First and goal. 23 seconds to go. The clock is running. We're just going to score, though. Get in there. Ah, oh, Down at the one. 15 seconds. So the game's ours. Unless we fumble or throw an interception that they return for a touchdown, we got the win sealed up. Get in. There we go. Well, 
And that's it, folks. We're going to win 42 to 28. Only a two touchdown win. It felt a lot closer. Um, besides the random interceptions, one of them was definitely my fault. I didn't see the defender. One was tipped. And the other one was weird animation from the computer that the defender knew exactly when to run right in front of the, def the my receiver, who was wide open, but whatever. We walk away with the win. Um, pretty excited. S stick around. You're going to get to see my stats for the game. And we'll get ready for our next game. Oh, was that the Giants' first loss? Oh, I think they had a tie. I think they were 1-1-1 one, one, and one now. Maybe. And I think that improves us to 7-2. and two. So, uh, there's the highlights. Right right up here, we're going to look at my stats. And that's gonna, we're going to call it a quits. So, if you guys enjoyed this one, which I hope you did. And if I made you laugh at all, or you were like, that was interesting. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.